am making a beetroot and chocolate cake because it's delicious for a start and just so easy to make. But also I'm a little bit obsessed with the health benefits of beetroot at the moment. And I've mashed up a couple of like medium peel cooked beetroots in here. I mean, you could put all this in a blender or in your food processor, it would work just as well. But I've mashed them up with a fork and I'm adding in just lots of different ingredients. And as I add them in, I'm going to tell you why I adore beetroot. So I'm just going to add in the liquid ingredients first. I've got three eggs here and I've got about a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. It's quite safe to cook with extra virgin olive oil. But let's go back to the beetroot as I add in everything else and a bit of natural unsweetened yogurt. What I love about beetroot is its anti-inflammatory benefits in the body. Now, loads of the ingredients in this cake are anti-inflammatory, but let's focus on the beetroot here. The point about beetroot is it has this really fabulous anti-inflammatory effect, and not just on your gut, but throughout your whole body. And we know that in perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause, we have a more of a pro-inflammatory state. And that's because estrogen has this lovely anti-inflammatory effect on our body, and we lose that at this stage. And that's not good, unfortunately. And so we want to pick up on the anti-inflammatory things that we can do. One of them is eating anti-inflammatory foods. Absolutely, exercise is also anti-inflammatory. Having a good night's sleep is anti-inflammatory. But here we're talking about nutrition and beetroot has this wonderful anti-inflammatory effect. By the way, I'm putting in about a third of a cup of honey. You could use maple syrup, you could use sugar. Test the cake ingredients once you've made it up and just see if it's sweet enough for you. I don't have much of a sweet tooth and so this is enough sweetness, just a hint. But really, this is a cake, and if it's not sweet enough for you, just add a bit more, because there's no point in making a cake if it just doesn't taste the way you want it to be. Now, I have roughly ground up some almonds here, so there, there are a few little chunky bits left, because I quite like that texture. By all means, you could buy ready ground almond meal, and that's just great as well. And then I think I've got everything in here. And look in the ingredients list here in the recipe, which is below in my comments. And lastly, I'm adding another fantastic anti-inflammatory ingredient, which is the cocoa powder. So there's all sorts of goodness going on here. Absolutely amazing. And I hope you enjoy this. I'm just going to mix it all together and I'm going to pop it in my oven and it cooks up Whoop! <laughs> the cocoa powder going everywhere. Look at those colours. You can tell why it's so fantastic in your gut and your whole body because those beautiful colours, that pinky beetroot, that lovely cocoa colour, have polyphenols in which are anti-inflammatory. And that is it. And in it goes into my cake tin and then into the oven. Look in my recipe for how long. It depends on the heat of your oven. Usually it's around 30 to 40 minutes, but it's just dependent, as I say, on your oven. Use a cake skewer to test it when you think it might be done. And away we go. Whilst my cake is in the oven, I'm just making this gorgeous chocolate frosting. And all it is, is dark chocolate and just natural unsweetened yogurt. And I just warm the chocolate until it was soft. And then I've just added some natural unsweetened yogurt into this frosting. And I am not mixing it too much, just until it's homogenized. If you over mix it, the chocolate and the yogurt might split. And that's it. You've got healthy 70, 80% chocolate in here and just some natural unsweetened yogurt. And it makes a fantastic frosting. I've got this cake out of the oven now. It's just cooked. It's, I've let it cool for about 10 minutes. So it's slightly warm. And I just want to show you the frosting. So here we go. I've warmed up the chocolate and I've mixed it with the yogurt. And this is just such an easy frosting. So it's a little bit looser than normal because I haven't let it cool. And I'm just going to pop it on the cake. And it will get a bit firmer as the chocolate cools. Mm. But it's just such a lovely finish to this beetroot and chocolate cake. 